Hey guys, Guru Mike Pan of Body Warrior Martial Arts, and today I wanted to share with you a very basic self-defense technique that pretty much anyone watching this can learn and practice, okay? Uh, now, while we have a great deal of martial artists who do follow us on our social media channels, we also have a good number of people who follow us and support our mission of Body Warrior Martial Arts that aren't martial artists at all, who may not train in martial arts, who may never been in a fight before, uh, but they just simply support our mission and simply want to have some basic knowledge of self-defense should they have to protect themselves. Um, and the technique I'm going to share with you today is one of the key moves that I teach um, beginners and everyday people uh, as a means to protect themselves if they're forced to find themselves in a situation like that, okay? And it's the eye jab, all right? So the eye jab is a very uh, basic technique, okay? You'll find it in a multitude of different martial arts systems. Um, I've seen it in uh, systems like Wing Chun, I've seen it in Filipino martial arts and different systems. Uh, I've seen it in various styles of karate. Um, and I've also, I've seen especially in the blade system of Atienza Kali, which um, I, which is the primary blade system that I practice and teach. Um, it's a key part of the empty hand on knife curriculum. So this is one of those moves that just kind of uh, travels across the world, if you will. Um, it's, a, it's a technique that uh, really finds itself in different martial cultures and different martial styles because it's simply that effective. Um, and it's also really easy to learn and requires no strength or power to execute, okay? So let me show it to you really quick. So the cool thing about the eye jab is that it's not so much about a technique as much as it is about a target, okay? So this technique is basically, as, it's, as the name implies, it targets the eyes, right? And I can do this with a weapon or I can do it without a weapon. So if I had a stick, for instance, right? If I had a stick, for instance, all I would do is simply execute a backhand in motion and attack yeah, if I'm moving around, I can attack that eye, okay? It's a very simple move. Again, I'm just simply reaching out and I'm extending my reach and I'm backhanding the eyes, okay? Now, let's say you're not carrying a 31 inch rattan stick. I don't, most people don't, okay? Um, if you have something like a flashlight, uh, this is actually a very effective technique to utilize with a flashlight as well. Same exact motion, I'm still using that backhanded motion just like I did with the stick, but I'm simply using the very tip of this flashlight and I'm attacking the eyes. Okay, I will also show the empty hand application because I think this is the one that applies to pretty much everyone out there. Um, and all I'm going to do is do this from, again, my seemingly passive stance, right? Um, my hands are up. It looks like I don't want any trouble because it's true. I don't want any trouble. I want to keep my hands up in front of me. My legs are in a position of balance, so it's not too combative, right? I don't have my, ball, my fists uh, balled up. All I'm doing is simply staying in a position where my hands are open, making it clear that I don't want any trouble. But if you notice where I'm standing, I'm still protecting myself. Okay, my hands are protecting my face, my elbows are protecting my ribs, and I'm in a position of balance so I can move as I need to, as, as well as not being thrown over or tripped as well. I would not want that, right? So what I'm gonna do with the empty hand variation of this jab, I'm still gonna stand in front of Bob, all right? I'm still gonna execute, again, that backhanded motion. That's all I'm gonna do. So I'm just taking my hands, I'm, just, I'm keeping my hands up just like that, and if the person starts to encroach on my space, I simply attack the eyes. Notice, I'm not winding up, there's no power needed for this move, just precision and speed, okay? And all I'm doing is, again, I'm just simply flicking my hands in a backhanded motion to the eyes. This is not to be confused with like a spear hand, right? Where I'm doing like a drive, a straight drive with my fingertips into the person's eyes. I don't need that. The eyes are a very sensitive uh, target on the body. All I simply need to do is tap it, flick the hands out. So from this view, that's all I'm doing. Okay, I can do it with the opposite hand as well. So from my left knee, same thing, nice and easy. Hands are up. The person tries to close in on my space. I simply jab the eyes, okay? I hope you never have to use this technique, but if you're forced to, you have something now that you could use to protect yourself with.